Hey friends, it's Tara with Sweet Country Glam bringing you this week's video. We're super excited. We are giving away a custom Cricut Joy. We call it the Bohemian Joy. We're gonna have all the official rules and all the breakdown over on our Instagram. You can see the link down in the description. In order to participate in this giveaway, you need to be sure that you are subscribed to Sweet Country Glam at YouTube and also to Instagram. You must like the picture on Instagram. You must comment on Instagram your YouTube username so that we can cross-reference it for announcing the winner. If you do tag and add someone in the Instagram post, you do get a double entry. We are going to be starting immediately and running through the morning of November 18th. We will be announcing the winner at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. All right, well, before we get into this giveaway, let me show you what this amazing machine can do. All right, friends, so I have a pair of earrings here. I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description for all of the SVGs that I was using. Creative Fabrica has amazing SVGs. I love this Halloween card we're gonna make. Like I said, I'm gonna show you all the things that your little DIY joy maker can make for you. So. Let's go ahead and start with a basic earring. I took the same earring and duplicated it. And you can see that right over here in the upper right hand corner where it says duplicate. And then what I did is I just grabbed a pumpkin off of the images that I've had recently before uploaded either from Design Bundles or Creative Fabrica. And what I did is I had just placed the pumpkin over a blank earring such as this and I just went over and sliced it. So let me go ahead and show you what that will happen once you bring you're going to arrange it to the front. So if I were to go over these two images with my selection box, you'll see down in the bottom right hand corner that slice becomes available. If I were to hit that, it would go ahead and cut this piece out of the earring. Okay, and then this is the end result. So what's really nice is that I had these leftover pumpkins, so this can be another earring set for you. So there's going to be four different looks that we're going to do today, including a nice joy card that we're going to make. And what's really nice, you can see my dimensions here. I had to bring him down a little bit lower just because I am putting him on the mat. So let me go ahead and show you what this is going to look like. Let me go ahead and click on the joy, and I'm going to go to make it, and I want you to see how it's populating. Now for the first one, you can see it is the card. I'm going to say it's going to go on a card mat and that's your blue mat okay so on the blue mat I want you to come over to material size because I used a pre-cut joy card and it's that uh, five and a half by that 4.25 so I made sure that he was strategically placed centered and he looks great here I did put tape above the red line margins just so that it doesn't shift in the joy. You will get some shifting action if the blade does get jammed in the cardstock. It can happen. Just be patient with yourself. Make sure you have a couple of others. And then once I'm ready to cut, I go ahead and send it through on the card mat. And this is the blue mat. Now, if you go down here, you can see you're just running this through on a on a mat so you want to change it up to where it shows you the grid lines and that is your green mat so it's going to be cutting out these guys and this guy and this is going to be my vinyl pack vinyl and including some really pretty faux leather that I got from um, faux leather for you I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description as well okay then your last one you're gonna go and double check and this is really important you want to check all your materials you want to duplicate this quite a few times so that you have more than one earring and it is not on a card mat it's on a regular mat again with the grid lines your green mat and so you're gonna go ahead and make sure everything is placed you got your materials within these grid lines everything's adhered down so it doesn't get any shifting movement and you're ready to go ahead and cut that's what's really nice is it populates it by color and what's really fun about the joy friends is that you can make some money making earrings cards and tumblers I'll even show you what I made Thank you. 
Okay, so you're gonna want your mini press to be on setting two, and I just take the film over my Vinyl Packs vinyl as a heat protective cover just to iron on the glitter in my bronze. And as you can see here, here is the faux leather for you uh, brown overlay over a really pretty geometric black and white shimmer. Again, all the links will be in the description. I made sure to use all of my materials, so the little pumpkin vinyl that I had left over, I placed on another extra earring that I had cut out so that I can make additional looks. Super pretty, I love the shimmer. Then I also have my faux leather pumpkin. I thought these would be really cute to make little dangle earrings. So what I'm using is a four by five oval jump ring. Go ahead and get those open. It is a snug fit on these. These have just always been my go-to jump rings for these earrings. And you do need two for this earring so that it kind of goes in the shape of a T so you don't get that flip on your earring. I have my sterling silver hooks. I'll go ahead and leave a link down below. You're gonna go ahead, point the hook to the back and then go ahead and pinch it with your pliers. And you'll go ahead and do these to all of the remaining earrings you have made today. So I'm just taking some wet acrylic paint and I'm just going over the top. Um, it's kind of like my sloppy top coat, if you would. It's kind of like my sloppy top coat. I'm not looking for any um, clean lines because uh, the more brush strokes, kind of like the rough edges on this, the better the crackle is gonna look. And I like the dark ombre underneath. So any areas that I leave open are just gonna add to that look as well. What's really cool about using a really tiny paintbrush is you kind of almost get a wood grain effect. And when you uh, kind of come at an angle with your brush, you can create some really pretty uh, natural lines. And right now this is still a little bit tacky, but I'm just kind of distressing it a little bit because that's just gonna give it more of that distressed rustic look when I go over it with my Valspar crackle. I'll go ahead and show that to you. So, and then I'll be applying that once this dries with one of my little foam brushes. Okay, so now that this is dry, I'm gonna go ahead and take my crackle and I'm just going to apply it to the top all the way around. I'm putting it on kind of thick because the thicker you go with the crackle, the more it will give that desired effect of just having a really thick crackle appearance. And you'll want to let this dry for at least an hour. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take my small paintbrush. I have a charcoal color that I'm going to be using and I'm just going to be going back and forth just quick motions. This tumbler spins pretty fast, so I'm trying to keep up with it because I want the crackle to be pretty much the same going back and forth. You just let the crackle do its job. The moment you've been waiting for. Let's count this down. Three, two, one.
Oh my gosh, guys, this is absolutely beautiful. Be sure to subscribe right now. Go over to Instagram. Make sure you sign up for the giveaway for the Bohemian Joy.